Well, hello everyone, and here with another LEGO Star Wars review, and this one is on UCS Yoda. Yeah. So on the front of the box, you can see the rebuilding kind of border with the Darth Vader, minifig Vader, like we've seen at the beginning of the year. And the Yoda position there, Disney logo, minifig Yoda in the corner. And then recommended ages 10 and up, set number 75255. It has 1,771 pieces. And flip to the back and see just the back view of it, and the two features, and the full height of which. And on to the instruction booklet, so it's the same picture as on the front of the box and everything, in this thick book style, which I and some will appreciate. On the back, I went on the online survey. All the pieces included with the set uh, for all the fall wave set. So then each of the mini pigs included with all uh, for Lego Life and the step life filling sets. So first for so for the only thing of which is a uh, mini thing Yoda. Which building the green lightsaber, obviously. And don't know if you can notice, but the like eye printing on my kind of slapped me a bit. And uh, maybe it's just me, but other than that, the printing of which about the same as it's been for a few years. Like Jedi Starfire and the Spire Droid set from a couple years ago, and. The, uh, back torso print and with the lip also done with and also the like same exact uh, hair prints as usual. But uh, if you didn't want to bother getting Yoda's Jedi Starfire or any of them, well, this is a good option to get. That. But anyway, but also you do of course get these little plaque here built similarly to most other UCS uh, stands things like BB-8 and R2-D2 and the Porg and all and if you want to read this info pause and read it and kind of on to UCS Yoda Yo 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 da. Anyways, so built quite well, but I would say a good bit different than the Yoda set from two thousand two or so. But I'll explain why later. So first of all, the feet, which are a good bit, which are symmetrical, like you have some good angling to them with those tooth pieces as toes and also to note is that a lot of snot detailing all over like on all the sides well if you build this get this set and build it up you would kind of know that built kind of bit like the UCS Porg from a couple years ago or from last year actually see it's mostly brown in this area, but mostly tan all over. And I see some more soft detailing with all plates and slopes. You know. But whereas from the back of which, some more of that. But at least making it feel like actual clothing, Jedi cloak. You know. And of course, as for the hood of which, also done goodly. Making it look like it's folded up, or folded down, of course. And for the hands of which, like if I take one off, as you can see, it has three fingers, of which is a normal sign of Yoda. And they are posable in two different points. And although you can also turn them as well. And if you wonder, is the lightsaber removable? And yes, it is. Kind of a process to do so. And where is for the hilt of which? 
uh, anything does well capture it. You can see he has a couple of buttons there, but doesn't press or anything. So if if Lego sees this and let there be a set that is of lightsabers and let them be around this size, which would be a good standalone set by itself, like swooshable and everything. But also, if you wonder like how the uh, lightsaber blade part is done, is it's actually done with a lot with this really really long uh, white technic rod and a lot of those rounded bricks in trans green ending and that. Oh, it's really good use of pieces. Clever use of pieces is on their part. Oh, which although does feel of which kind of like a Technic Darth Vader from 2002 then. And well, both hands of which do have different ways of connecting. Like that one was on a like red red axle. And the other of which is on those two specialized pins. It's probably to give it some more stabilization in the hands. And now onto the head of which. Let's see, it has a whole ton of uh, rounded slopes. Oops. That probably to act as the ring as his wrinkles so uh, and the dome piece acting as a nose being which I think done to pretty much perfection and for the eyes of which which as some people say stare right into your soul of course and also you can like move these pieces around to pose them as which is a major step up from 2002 Yoda. We got his pointy ears also done goodly. But if look from the back of it, it has some accents of white uh, uh, stalactite pieces acting as his hair, uh, which also kind of like the pork set did. And the head of which does have some bit of range of movement out of it. But also sort of like the 2002 Yoda. But however, it can lean forward, but not backwards at all. Also like the old Yoda set. But if you look underneath, you can see some technic beaming there. And quite hollow inside, just like the 2002 Yoda was again. And what else is there to say? Not much, but yeah. And so now on to the final verdict on this set. This overall, I think, a pretty cool set of Yoda. So one good thing about this one compared to the old version is that it does have a nicely built lightsaber, or, of which and movable eyes, of course. Although this would fit in well next to BB-8 and R2-D2, Pat and Porg, the last UCS uh, character sets. And well, if you're if you have if you dig Yoda a bit then go ahead and pick up this set. And if you want to make this as part of your collection of UCS sets, then also go ahead and pick it up. And that's about it with this video, and thanks for watching.